Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to solve a combined variation word problem. So, let's look at this problem. It says, suppose that the amount of time it takes to build a highway varies directly with the length of the highway and inversely with the number of workers. Suppose also that it takes 100 workers six weeks to build four miles of highway. How many miles of highway could 160 workers build in 15 weeks? There is a lot going on here. So the reason it's called a combined variation word problem is because it has a direct variation situation and an inverse variation situation. So let's kind of review what those things mean. So a direct variation situation is a situation that has wording like this. Something Y varies directly with something else, X. And that always has um, this kind of equation. Y is equal to some constant K times the variable X. So that's a direct variation uh, equation. K is some constant. Inverse variation, remember, is this kind of phrasing. Inverse variation says something like this. Y varies inversely with X. And that is a slightly different type of equation. That equation will be Y is equal to a constant K over the variable x. Okay, so what is this direct and inverse? What, is all, what does all that mean? So a direct variation means that the two variables y and x are related sort of directly, meaning that if x gets big, x is the independent variable on the right, when x gets large, we're just multiplying all the x's, all the x's that you can plug in get multiplied by the same constant. So y is going to get large. So when x gets large, so does y. With inverse variation, they kind of are behaving inversely or opposite of each other. So when x gets large, notice x is in the denominator of a fraction. So y is equal to some constant divided by x, and, and when you're dividing by something large, you're making the number smaller. So y gets small as x gets large. Okay, so that's the inverse variation situation. So now, when you have a combined variation problem, it, your wording is something like this. y varies directly with one variable, say x, and inversely with another variable, let's just say z. So there's three variables. y is dependent on x and z, but it varies directly with x and inversely with z. So that type of equation looks like this. y is equal to kx over z. So x will be in the numerator because y varies directly with it, and z will have to be in the denominator because y varies inversely with z. So in a combined variation situation, it's complicated, right? Because x gets larger makes y get larger, but when z gets larger, it makes y get smaller. So if both x and z are getting big, uh, y could get bigger or it could get smaller. It depends on whether x is winning the race or z is winning the race. So we can't say for sure uh, what the relationship is going to be. Okay, so the problem that we're going to do is a combined variation problem. So let's re uh, write it. So it has both inverse variation and direct variation in it. So the first thing is to define our variable. You've got to do that. The thing that we're looking for is how many miles of highway 
can be built by 160 workers in 15 weeks. So the first variable we have to define is the length of highway. So I'm going to use L. Let L equal length of highway. And I'm going to specify my units. We're using miles, so I'm going to say in miles. Now we're going to need more variables than that. So in the problem, we see that the amount of time is going to affect the length of highway. So we need a variable for time. So let's use t. So t is going to be the amount of time that it will take. And the units for time, uh, we see at the end of the problem, they use the word weeks. So we're going to say in weeks. Now what else do we need? We need, um, so it says that the amount of time varies directly with length. We've got that variable. But it varies inversely with the number of workers. So the number of workers also affects the amount of time it takes. So we need a variable for that. So let's let n be the number of workers required. Okay, so we've got three variables, L, T, and N. So now the first step is going to be to set up an equation, and the equation is going to use K because we don't know what k is yet. So we're going to have to use the letter k, but we're going to want to get the general form of the equation. So because we have um, time varies directly with length, we can say t is k times l, but then it varies inversely with the number of workers, so we have to say divided by n. So t is equal to kl over n. That's our combined variation equation. Now we have to figure out what k is. We, we, otherwise, we have way too many unknowns. So the second step is to find k, find a number for k. And so we go back to the problem, and we look at the information they gave us. They gave us a situation. They said it takes 100 workers six weeks to build four miles of highway. So that means t equals 6 when n is 100 and l is 4. Okay, 6 weeks, 100 workers can build 4 miles. All right, so if we plug those three numbers in, we can find k. So 6 equals k times 4 over 100. Now, I like to simplify my fractions before I start dividing both sides by that fraction. So, 4 over 100 is really 1 over 25. So, I have 6 equals k over 25. And now I just have to multiply both sides by 25. And I get 150 equals k. So, now I can use that instead of the letter k. So, now step 3 is to write the new equation, the actual equation that we're going to use. So replacing k with 150, I get t equals 150l over n. Okay, so now we're almost ready to solve the problem. So the fourth step is to solve. We have to figure out what we're going to put in. So we're looking for um, the number of miles of highway. So we need to plug in something for the time and the number of workers. So go back to the problem, and it says, how many miles of highway could 160 workers build in 15 weeks? So we want to find, we want to find L when N is 160 workers and T is six, uh, 15 weeks, okay? Because they say how many miles of highway could 160 workers build in 15 weeks? All right, so let's plug those two numbers in. So 15 weeks is equal to 150L over 160. 150 was the K, 15 was 15 weeks, and 160 was 160 workers. 
So I like to simplify that fraction. 150 over 160 is really 15 over 16. And that's because I, when I um, divide both sides by that fraction, it's a smaller number. So multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 15 over 16. And then on the left side, I see that the 15s cancel, and I'm just left with 16. On the right side, the whole fraction goes away, and I'm left with L. So we can answer the question. They can build 16 miles of highway. So 16 miles of highway can be built by 160 workers in 15 weeks. All right, so that was a combined variation word problem. Happy solving.